In my last video, I made a microscope from scratch. And now I want to try it out with some of your suggestions. So to start out, Jared suggested comparing pond water and tap water. So I took a drop and compared the two. But I actually found it hard to tell what was just the adhesive in the slide, what was air bubbles that were trapped, and what was actual items in the water itself. As far as I could tell, I wasn't seeing any microorganisms. But also in the pond water, I found a dead mosquito. Putting him under the lens, I actually found what I assume are paramecium that ended up coming along with him. The mosquito itself was pretty amazing to see close up as well. Janet suggested checking my own blood, so I pricked myself and checked it out. Focusing the lens, you end up bumping and squeezing the slide, so it's hard to tell if there's any actual movement in the blood cells themselves. But it does appear you can see the actual individual cells. XZXY101X suggested checking out my eggshells. So I did that, both with the chicken shells and the ostrich egg shells. Then I also went and checked some of the sand I used, which actually looks almost transparent this close up. Next I check out some of the iron I removed from the sand before with a magnet. And lastly, here's a close up of a piece of the glass I made at my first attempt at the eyeglasses. Create suggested I look at leaves. So I took some of the leaves off of a radish plant I'm growing right now. It's pretty cool you can actually see the individual cells. I also checked out some dried sassafras leaf I saved from my root beer. Linda had the really great suggestion that I check out some of the things I've made before. So to start, here's some of the salt I made from the Pacific Ocean. For comparison, here's normal table salt. Next, here's some of the sugar I made. And here it is compared to store-bought sugar. Here's a close-up of some wool from the sheep I sheared. If you look closely, you'll see tiny barbs on the hair. That's what allows wool to be felted when the hairs connect with each other. And here's a close-up of some of the felt I made where you can see how the hairs are all interlocked. I then went through and checked a bunch of other items left over from past projects, as well as some random items around the house. Thank you to everyone who shared our videos the past week. We had almost 200 people share it, so that's awesome. I've randomly selected a few winners. I'll contact you in the next couple days about getting you your fold scope. Thanks for watching and check back in a few weeks when I attempt to make a telescope.